Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, sh- gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. Oh, don't help me. Help this dad. He's a single dad. He's a full-time dad, so his kids obviously live with him. Mm-hmm. And he's just, he wants help. I think deep down he already knows the answers to this. Mm-hmm. But bear with him, okay? Because he said, dear Abby, help. I'm a full-time single working dad and my 13-year-old daughter who lives with me full-time is currently in grade eight and has been nagging me about dating. <laughs> there is a boy in her school that likes her, which obviously she likes him. Mm. And I have told her from the word go that she is not able to date until she graduates. But is this medieval of me? Mm. Oh, dad, you know the answer to that. My reasons are that she gets distracted easily and wears her heart on her sleeve. And I just don't want her to lose focus on her grades because of some boy. However, some outside influences have told me if I don't let her explore and experience dating and heartbreak, well, then she will struggle when she is an adult. I mean, she has 80 years after she graduates to find a partner at all. <laughs> uh, I've told Literally her that, over his dead body. <laughs> yeah. I've told her that there are very few couples that stay together who graduate and the chance of her finding a soulmate in high school is just very, very low. True. I want her to focus on her studies so that she can live a better life um, than we could provide her. Oh, okay. But I don't want her feelings to alienate her, exclude her because all her friends have partners. Mm. I do listen to the podcast and I'd really like people's advice. Can you please help a dad of a teenage daughter? See, this is a, you can fully sympathize with this guy, but there is absolutely no way that this can happen. And the worst thing he can do, I think, is disallow it. So she does it behind his back. That's what I say. Better the devil you know. I know that my mum used to allow me to do a lot of things that she wasn't happy with. Mm -hmm. And now looking back, it was so strange how close she was to my boyfriend. She decided if she brings him into the family and is included, then he's going to feel obligated. Our end's close. Our enemy's close. close. Yeah. How close? Pardon? How close? Well, she used to allow him to sleep over. Right. And she, he used to sleep downstairs. He used to come to family functions, come away on holidays. Wow. I met like part of the family mm-hmm. because she was like, well, all, yeah. to be honest, all my friends were sneaking out and meeting their boyfriends. Yeah. So I used and to that's, be, I think that's what this will happen to this guy if he, if he does. Yeah. yeah. Even so much. Mum used to have arguments with him. and was like, if you guys are going to party, she's not drinking and you're responsible. So it was very much like, ooh. No responsibilities for me. Good luck. (laughs) But I I just feel like I understand where he's coming from and he's really protective and he wants her to do well. But I think that he needs to have faith in his daughter that she can still focus on grades. I don't think it's her he's worried about. It's the other. It's the the bloke. Mm. Do you think it is reasonable to say no dating? I would say maybe up until Mm. year nine. If he wanted to... That's one more comp- year. Yeah, but find a compromise for her. Like, you just f- but Dad, that boy might not be interested in me after a year. Well, there'll be lots of other boys. But you don't know that when you're that age. He is like the one. Mm. See, I would just be happy that she's in her age group. My biggest fear is that in year nine, my daughter brings home some gronk from year 12 and is like, this is my boyfriend. He has a car. And then I would cry. <laughs> You, yeah, see, that was you've me. You've this all out in your head. Yeah, because he, he always looks at me and goes, "Don't, I don't want it to be like... You. Yeah, well, when I was in year 10, my boyfriend had finished school two years earlier. Mm. Yeah. And had a car. And that's why mum made friends with him. Yeah, right. I can see why they would have done that. And she still says happy birthday to him, sends a text every... Wow. Yeah. See, this girl um, that Dad's talking about yeah. is one year older than your daughter. Yeah. Or two, because she's in grade six. You're right. Oh, right. So, okay. yeah, so be close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're 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 not far off from being what would in be exactly your rules? situation. She can date, I guess. But if she got bad grades, you'd have to discuss the balance. What would be your rules with it then? Of dating? Yeah. Oh, I am not thinking about that right now. <laughs> I love it when he's just taking a drink of water now. So he's not stressed about it, guys. He's got no issue. She could date. She could date. That's now you're going to do your fake yawn date, when you get no, stressed. No, but it'll be, be the same as, I think, you know, the, your standard rules. Not in the bedroom with the door closed. No yeah. sleep. You know, ba- basic stuff. But she'll she'll have boyfriends or girlfriends. We haven't even had that chat yet. So Yeah. Yeah. No, no drama. It's, it's going to happen. So you can't fight against it. Mm. For a, a single dad who's really concerned of his teenage daughter dating... What's the advice you have? 13, 10, 60. All right, we'll take your calls next. Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. 
If you've got an issue and you want to get Brisbane's advice, send an email, dear Abby at b105.com.au. I've got one from a, a single dad, and he said that he's really concerned about his teenage daughter wanting to date. She's mm. in year eight, and she likes a boy, and the boy likes her. But he said, no dating. Until you graduate. I think even he knows that's ridiculous. But he just wants to know, how does he go about it? Because is she just going to go behind his back? Yeah. Shannon and Rochdale, what do you think about this, dear Abby? Morning, guys. Um, yeah, no, so I definitely think that he should. Um, I've got personal experience. So my dad's a single dad with us four kids. Mm-hmm. Um, and being his only daughter and also the eldest, um, you know, he let me date those jerks. Jerk bag. Um, and I, my advice would just be for him to stand by his daughter and be there to pick her up when she does get heartbroken. Mm. Um, and, you know, just like to have no judgment, but just to be there to help, I guess, guide her and educate her what, on what healthy relationships are, you know, especially if her mum and dad aren't obviously together, if mm. dad's the single dad. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, so my advice would be, yeah, let her date, but just be by her side. Um, you know, he, he sounds like he's obviously raised a great daughter. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I guess just trust in that, that, you know, she'll she'll make the right decisions. But, Shannon, you did know, you ever go, I guess he's always concerned about, you know, it's going to be all boy crazy and not going to focus on grades. Mm. Do you, Were you like that when you were at high school? No, no. So, I, like, I was still a straight-A student. Um, I remember, I think maybe it might have been grade 10. We sort of just seemed to have lived at the cinemas, um, you know, my <laughs> boyfriend at the time and, my, all, you know, all our friends, big group of us. Um, but, yeah, no, you know, like, still graduated high school, went to uni, now a teacher. Um, so, yeah, no, I think just as long as he stands by her, you know, educates her really well. That's all you can do, really, isn't yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, Annalise and Crestmead. It's a pickle. What do you think about this, dear Abby? Yeah, hi. I um, I really think that he he's doing a good job, but obviously his you know way of thinking is a little bit archaic. But I just think trust her, give her time to kind of experience things, and yeah, guide her into just you know you know what what can happen. Um, but yeah, stay by her side, and he obviously trusts her dad because she's coming to him and she's not kind of, you know, talking to her friends and being closed off and just doing what she wants to do anyway. She obviously values, you know, her dad's um, advice. So I just think, yeah, trust her, stand by her and just, you know, guide her. I mean, we're talking about the fact that is she ready to date, but I think a lot of this is he's not ready for her yeah. to grow up. Of course up. he's not. Of course yeah. he's not. And my friend, um, she yeah. has, she's one of five girls and yeah. her dad never let her date until they're 18. And it was kind of like 18, you're allowed. And she'll actually say, I went to an all-girls school. I grew up with sisters. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't allowed to date. I didn't know how to talk with yeah, you'd have no guys. Idea. And I'll say that her dating experience was probably worse than all of us because mm. she didn't have that experience. So I yeah. think being able to have those relationships young, under the guidance of your dad might. Mm. Yeah, be a bit different, but yeah, I think he's need to sit down and say, "Am I ready to date?" He yeah, to yeah, bite that, the bullet. I think that's what it is. He's mm. he's, and I can understand that. Yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely, I can and empathise with him. Um, Kieran, morning, morning. Uh, you're a dad of a 13 year old. Yes, so uh, we've just gone through her first heartbreak. Um, unfortunately, that happened over the weekend, and the oh. first person she wanted to call was me. Oh, yeah, right. So you just got to lay that foundation. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't say yes, go and date. I was kind of the same. Like, I don't want you dating until you're 35. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But I came home one day and her and her mum broke the news to me that she's got a boyfriend. And I mean, typical dad, I was like, nah, not happening. Uh, But look, they were together for a little bit, like, don't know how much, but a lot of their relationship was just talking via text and phone calls. Her grades, I don't think, were affected by her dating. But, you know, like all the other callers said, being there for her when she says, hey, he's broken my heart. Mm. Um, that was the saddest but most rewarding feeling at the same time. Yeah. yeah right. Did you show restraint and not say what a loser he was? Hmm. Oh, hell no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He, he copped it. I told her there's plenty more fish in the sea. Don't yeah. worry about him. Yeah. Move on. You know, you'll find someone bigger, better. Yeah. Um, you know, and he'll, he'll play a real sport.
Yeah, yeah. right. So <laughs> play a real sport. <laughs> what, what did he play that you didn't approve of, Kieran? Uh, he played soccer. Yeah, right. Oh, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> now get an NRL player, babe. That's what you need. I mean, <laughs> hang on don't. a second. No, no, don't. No, no, don't. No, no. No. <laughs> Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, sh- gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. So, if you've got a Dear Abby, you can send it in. Dear Abby at b105.com.au. You can Instagram me, DM, but sometimes I just don't see it. That's all. Uh, this girl I bumped into on Friday night at the Pink concert, and she mm-hmm. said, look, I have to give you an update. What happened after? We caught the train home, and my friend and I started talking to a guy who was leaving work drinks, and he was so lovely, really cute, and he said, would you girls like to get a drink? So they got a drink because they got off at the same stop. Everything was shutting, so then he walked her flatmate and her home. Gentlemen. And- I know, right? Mm-hmm. And then he said, hey, would you like to actually go on a date on Friday night, which is happening this Friday night? Tomorrow. S- tomorrow. But then she said she couldn't believe it. She actually bumped into him at the chemist around the corner because apparently he lives a few streets away. Never seen him in a whole mm-hmm. life. They were talking, obviously. She looked in the basket and saw that he had female hygiene products. Mm-hmm. Meaning what? She didn't say anything. She was getting a script filled. She was a bit embarrassed about a script. Didn't want to talk about that. And was like, wait a minute, but then what does that mean? Does that mean he's with someone? Because that seems like you'd buy it for your wife or your girlfriend that you live with. Mm. People were like, no, still go on the date. Some people were saying, no, definitely don't. These were the comments. I asked my husband to go down the shop and he's like, no, I'm not buying those. No way, no way. And my flatmate was like, yeah, sure. No worries. I'll buy them. Go on the date. I've bought them for my sister. I'll pick them up for her. Yep. Sometimes they have those help the homeless, oh, share the yes. dignity or whatever yes. it is. Yeah, share the dignity. You're I will right. buy a couple of packets, especially if they're on sale, and toss them in there as I leave. She should can it because all she's going to do on the date is look at him and think, you sleazebag, why have you got them bloody products in your basket? I have got text messages from my daughters before yeah. saying, hey, can you get me these? And they send me photos of what they need. My therapist actually gave me an acronym for fear, which is false evidence appearing real. Uh, uh, good one. I've been thinking about this uh, since yesterday because I was obviously firmly in go on the date camp because he's probably he's completely innocent. And I've thought about something that reaffirms my argument. I don't think if he was going to be a cheater, he would do it in the same neighbourhood. Like, he could have been with his partner when he bumped into her at the chemist. You don't do that. You go further afield to... I cheat in other postcodes. Yeah. Don't cheat where you Mm. eat. Mm -hmm. Mm. So is she going on the date on Friday? I really hope so. I, I yeah. Well, Uh we we want some answers. Either way, we want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Something happened yesterday. Yeah. I don't know if we're to blame for it or... Probably. He's a woman, isn't he? He's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, did I ruin your twist? Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> she sent me a screenshot of some text message exchanges. Mm-hmm. Okay. Of whether they're going to go on the date on Friday. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to read them out to you next. Mm-hmm. Yep. I did have to Google a few acronyms, not going to lie. <laughs> did you, Mum? Because we worked out he's, he's probably too young to have a daughter. She said That's that she's 26. She said he was a couple of years older. So, I don't so know, 28, yeah. yeah. 28, yeah. 30. Okay. Oh, so not super impossible. Um, all right. When we come back, yeah. we, we're fine. We're going to get an answer mm-hmm. to why he was yep. purchasing oh. those. Ah, right. Yeah. I just thought we were going to get an answer for when he was going to the date or not. <laughs> oh. oh, this is exciting. All right. All is revealed. Next. Stand by. Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, sh- gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. So I, I got a, a dear Abby from a girl that was uh, really excited about going on a date on this Friday night. She met him on the train home from Pink last Friday night. Then she bumped into him at the chemist around the corner from them. Mm-hmm. And never seen him before in the life. And then you bump into him. Always away. Isn't Always it, really? away. And she said that she clocked in his like uh, cart. I guess he was carrying around a basket, know, basket yeah. that he had fem, uh, feminine hygiene products. And she's like, but wait, 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 who are they for? Mm. A lot of people are like, hey, could have been sister, could have been flatmate, yeah. could have been mum. Could have been homeless Don't people. just presume, right? But she was sort of presuming. She said that she butt dialed him yesterday. Okay. I'm not sh- I'm not sure about that because mm. I think that that's quite. But maybe she had the number up on her phone. And she it said, happens. Yeah. It mm. happens. I butt dialed you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then she said the conversation sort of started. So she sent me a screenshot of the text messages between them. Right. And I have so, sent so she, them. So she's asked him about the products in the basket. No, she hasn't. Right. Ooh. 
I have sent you guys the text messages. Ooh. Sorry, it was like in my DM, so it's not very clear. Anyway, no doubt. Um, and <laughs> I don't know what the conversation was before the screenshot because it says you too. But then mm-hmm. he has said, think you may have been talking about me on the radio. Question mark, question mark. Sneaky. Sneaky emoji. Oh, sounds like he likes it. LMK, if you really want to catch up, but I think it's best we leave it. Oh, no. Oh, dear. LMK is... What let is me LMK? Let, let me know. Let me know. Let of course. Me know. And you just let me know how old you are. Let me know if you really want to catch up, but I think we should best leave it. Oh, he's She's been, he's been... written back. WTF. I know what that means. Why the face? Mm-hmm. Guess that answers question. And he's written back, <clears throat> just got lots on ATM at the moment. Oh, just got a, lots on at the moment. Oh. So we we were all saying that they're his wife or girlfriend's feminine hygiene products. Stav stood up for this guy. I still am. Okay, let's go on to the next. So she's written back, U H M U, which I've now learned is you hit me up. Mm. Right, okay. And he's written, you looked, mm, fire emoji, sorry. So you looked hot, sorry. Mm, okay, right. Okay. She's written back, so you're in a relationship? She's waited, I guess. Question mark, question mark, question mark. He would have had bubbles there too, because he would have like typed something, deleted it, typed something. She's written, yes, question mark, like, uh. And he's written, what are you doing now? She said, waiting for an answer, question mark. He said, waiting for an answer, question mark. To what? (laughs) How you feeling, Steph? I'm fine. She's written, are you single? Nothing, 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 nothing. And then I got a message after from her saying, and I copied it and screenshot to you guys, feel like an idiot, he has blocked me now. Mm. I've deleted number and I feel embarrassed, but I'm taking it as a yes. Anyway, sorry it wasn't the fairy tale wedding, you could have married us. More out there, hey. Yeah, so he's got a missus. No. He doesn't what? like being talked about on the radio. Oh, but then he goes, proceeds to tell her she's hot and says, what you doing? Yeah. What you would have said is, hey, I heard you talking about me on the radio. I, I don't like that. I think hundred percent. That's have what said he's that. about. Uh, Are you in a relationship? I think it's best that we leave it. No, best to leave what? That's what he said. He said, "I think it's probably best that we leave it." Catching up. Yeah. Let me know if you really want to catch up, but I think it's best that we leave it. That's his exact words. Because but why you're does talking, he want to leave it? Because she, he thinks that he, she's going to go on a date. And we're going to talk about it on Monday, which we were going to do. A lot of people don't like to have their private lives discussed on the radio. Well, no one would have even known. No one even him. knows who it is. He's getting messages from people going, "I think they're talking about you on How the radio." Did he he didn't even hear it. Well, how do you know he hasn't heard it? What, what is the backstory that you're giving this guy? What is the backstory that you're giving this guy where he's married with three kids and a scumbag? Why and that's you... what we were talking about, and he's obviously heard that. Who would like that? How do you presume that he hasn't heard it? He may have. That would scare a lot of guys What do you off. girls think out there? It would. You know? I th- Why I th- block someone, though? That's what it is. See, the only thing I would have said is maybe he was upset about that, mm. but <clears throat> when... Um, when he in there, he then after they talk about the only thing, he proceeds to tell her how hot she was and the vernacular he's used. Well, is that's because she flirty. asked the question, "Why did you hit but me then, up?" And he says, "Well, you looked hot to be." Fair. But then why can't yeah. you just say to the response, "Are you in a relationship?" No, I'm sorry, I'm not, but I want to leave it. Yeah, and he says, "What are you doing now?" So it's sounding mm-hmm. like he. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just go? No, I'm not in a relationship, but I don't let you talk to me on the radio. Waiting for an answer to what? Yeah, that's like you're avoiding. Why it. would you not say? Yeah. Well, again, because he's thinking, if anything I say now is going to be reported. Yeah, well, he's, he's not done himself a favour there because he's still leaving it open for us to have this discussion. <laughs> 100%. And, hey, he listens. So 131060, if you would love to come on and clear this up. I asked for his number. Mm. What, you want to swoop in while she's out? No. <laughs> <laughs> she does need someone to go to the chemist and pick a few things up for her. <laughs> <laughs> that would be handy to have a man who would do that, right? <laughs> uh, um, oh, well, that's a shame. Do you know what else it could have been that we didn't think of yesterday? He could be a door dasher. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, I've just got a lot at the moment, like other deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's now listening going, geez, why didn't I think of that excuse? Oh, God. <laughs> God, stuff Seriously. is so good at this. <laughs> Takes one to know one. That's right. <laughs> Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, <laughs> gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. 
sometimes I do uh, see the DM, so you can send it there, but I do prefer if you send an email. Dear Abby at b105.com.au, because I put that in the VIP. You know, you oh, can yeah. do that for your piece, so the actual email comes through, because right. a lot of emails I don't read. This one is interesting. I don't know how I'd feel about it if my dad said this to me. She said, uh, Dear Abby, do I give my blessing for my dad to have another child? Or do I explain how wrong it is? My dad is 69 years of age and his girlfriend is 35 and wants a baby. I'm in my 40s and my brothers are even older than me. My dad is a young 69 and his girlfriend is a more mature 35. I'm saying that because they have the same sort of interests. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Same sort of interests. But it is crazy to think that I'm this age and I'll have a half-brother or half-sister. My dad has broken up with her a few times telling her that he's too old and she needs to go out and live her life and find someone younger. But every time I go around to their house, she is there and they're back together. She is an extremely successful uh, business owner and my dad is the same. So I just want to make that clear that it's not a gold digging sort of issue. Uh, but he said, she said that she really loves him, like really, really loves him and is at an age where she wants a baby. I mean, my dad won't be around as much to see the baby grow up, but then nothing is a given. Mm. And to be honest, he would be with the child more than he was when we were growing up. It's not to say that he wasn't a wonderful father, but he was always at work. So he would be more present now. Then again, as I say, life is no, not a given because my husband lost his dad when he was only 10. My question is, has anyone got a massive age gap with their sibling and has it worked with their parent having a child when they're older. Mm. Mm. I mean, it, even if you give a blessing, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, no. Do you know what I mean? Mm, like, yeah. they still can do their own thing. But yeah. it sounds like the dad is quite, re- like, he's responsible. Mm. Like, he keeps saying, no, 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 go and meet someone. Mm. But then, uh, even if there is, it's not really given that you go and meet someone else. No. You know? And if you li- love them and you're like, I get it, like, he, she's aware of the age gap. Mm. And old fellas might be her thing. She might just go and find yeah. another old bloke. Mm. You know, if that's what she's into. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see a problem with that. I mean, that would be strange once, but that's going to take a few years when the kid's actually old enough to... Well, you wouldn't treat it like a sibling, would you? <sighs> no. Half-sibling? It would feel like you're the auntie. Yeah. Mm. Mm. She worried about the uh, split up of the old estate mm-hmm. when Dad... Well, you, yeah. I, you have to, don't you? Mm. Mm. You'd have to consider. But then again, you wouldn't care because it would be your sibling, so you'd love it. Yeah, but that's not a given. That's yeah. <laughs> not at all. But yeah. you would. And old Miss 35-year-old might just be lining in her pockets. Well, but then she's, said that she's, she's, not, she's not. really successful. Yeah. So you might get lining the pockets from your stepmom that will be younger than you. You've only just worked that out? Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Stepmom, go to your room. I'm older. <laughs> it's your dad's room. He's in there, and I can't tell you what we're going to get up to. <laughs> I can't stay out. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's your point. You the baby. I'm taking my sister with me. Damn it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, I, it would feel weird. I mean, it happens. Mm. People are, there was people, uh, who's that guy, celebrity who was having kid at like 85 or something? Oh, De Niro? Was an actor yeah, like Robert recently? De Niro. But that didn't work out well for him, didn't it? Mm. Haven't they split up I now? I believe so. Mm. Yeah. De Niro and Pacino at the same time. That's what I was and, thinking of, Pacino. And everyone keeps thinking that she oh. did it for money, but she's not. She's super rich. Right, mm. okay. So she just, I don't know, she loves him. Mm-hmm. But she was super young, wasn't she? She was mm. like in her t- 20s. But all the previous people that she's dated were quite older oh, as well. Yeah. Right. So yeah, maybe a thing where it's older. Older is her thing. Does it work? 13, 10, 60. Uh, this lady is listening this morning. Imagine if you've got a babysit. Oh, yeah, sibling. Your half yeah. brother. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which you could. Well, that she 100% would. Yeah. Would have to. Well, not really. I mean, the dad's home. Well, that's true. Yeah, but he's got a young wife who <laughs> wants to get out and about and <laughs> experience things. That'd be exhausting. Yeah, that's what I hear here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What, that it seems good in theory, but then you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of Let's course start that all over back. again. Yeah. Uh, you have to learn to take selfies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to learn about Minecraft and Roblox. <laughs> no, nah, by the time that kid grew up, they'll be holograms and VR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll take your calls next. Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. 
I have a Dear Abby, and you can send one in, dearabby at b105.com.au. From a girl that's saying, do I give my blessing for my dad to have another child, or do I explain how wrong it is? It seems like he has actually been open and said, hey, my girlfriend, who's 35, and the dad is 69, wants to have a baby. Mm. Apparently the dad has left a few times saying, look, you know, find someone your own age, but they still end up together. Uh. She wants to know, is it unusual, I guess, or did it work having a massive age gap with your siblings? Because what's the age gap? That's, what's the age gap there? 34? Four between the dad and the... And the, and the um, partner, yeah. Yeah, mm. wow. She's in her 40s, though. Yeah. So she'd have a little baby to look after, maybe. Yeah. Hey, Jacinta, what do you reckon? Hey, guys. How are you? Good. That's uh, good. Hey, look, I've got... Um, my dad is 53. I'm 29. My stepmom is 42. Mm-hmm. And my half-brother is five. Five. So we've got... Yeah, we've got a big gap between us, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I love him just as much as I love my older siblings. All my older siblings are adults. Um, so if he wants to have a kid, go for it. Honestly, let him be, you know, be a father again. Does your stepmom, does she feel more like a sister? Yeah, so we have had that discussion in previous years that she does not treat me as a daughter in any shape. Uh, yeah. way, shape, or form, because yeah. obviously we're 12 years different in age. <laughs> but we accept that. So we're pretty much just really close friends in our books. But obviously I still classify her as a stepmom. She's mm-hmm. been part of the family for 10 years now. So, And what do you think about the people and... that always go, oh, no, you can't have another kid, you're too old? Like, has it worked out well for you, your dad? It's worked out perfectly fine for dad. He, I believe he understands that, you know, as he gets older... People are obviously going to look at him a little bit differently because he's an older man with a very young son mm. or they might look at him like he's a grandfather, but it doesn't faze him whatsoever. He mm. knows that he won't be a part of my brother's life forever like he has with us, and that's just how it is. He, you know, went ahead with it. So, cause um, what, what did you say? Your dad's 50? 50? 53. He's 53. Yeah, yeah, see, this guy's 69, mm. so I think yeah. that might is be... Is that your draw card? What's your... No, 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 no. Just, yeah. like there's 20 years difference mm. there, you know? Mm. So yeah. th- I think that, like, and I agree with you, just think the people should do whatever makes them happy. Yeah. But I think that ex- or that extra 20 years mm. could be a bit of a difference. Mm. You never hear of it the other way around, do you? The women doing this. No. no. They're smart enough not to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't bring life into this. It's oh, just sorry. so unfair, isn't it? Mother Nature <laughs> yeah. puts a time limit on it. But it, it doesn't make it easier that they've got a lot of money. Like, I yeah. know that oh. sounds really cruel to say, but I do think it makes a difference when you're not around to be able to support them. And I guess that's so vital, but financially you're still going to be able to. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Let's see what Samantha from Browns Plains thinks. Um, so I've actually got a 20, exactly 20 year age gap between me and my younger brother. Mm-hmm. Um, and it works out great because I've got a two year old son. So there's a five year age gap between them and they get along so well. I can just drop them off to poppies and they'll, play together and have lots of fun, which is good. Yeah, right. And what about the, how, how old is your dad, I guess? Um, so he's 53, 54 now. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. Um, and, he, and then my stepmom's early 40s. Right, okay. Yep. And I guess, so when they get, oh, hang on, because what's the relationship between the two kids there? I can't work that out. Um, well, they're half, half, well, no. Oh, yeah, hang on. Because <laughs> that's your half... half brother, but Half that would brother, make yeah. your kid his uncle. uncle. His uncle, yeah. yeah, yeah. W- will you tell him that when he's old enough? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. At yeah. the moment, they're just quite happy yeah. playing together. We just kind of call them cousins sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. When he's yeah, old yeah, enough, yeah. he's going to want that card because he can just be hey, I am your uncle. uncle. Yeah. You're not yeah. going out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carla, uh, what's your story? Hi, Carla. Hey. Hey. hey, how are you? Good. Um, my husband uh, were, is 47. His mm-hmm. youngest sister is 11. Right. Uh, his dad had her at 63 uh-huh. um, during his third marriage. So his uh, stepmom is a year younger than his older brother. Uh-huh. Um, yep. And his youngest sister is two and a half months younger than our youngest child and we've got 13 years so our oldest child is 24 um so their auntie is much much younger than they are that's wow. crazy isn't it i didn't understand and how has that. he got no no no. you have to do that you have to do the family training yeah. so how is your dad going i guess because he is tired <laughs> how um, has he felt being an older dad 
Um, really good. Like, it's probably hard for his three older ones to watch him. He was very much about wealth creation. Yes. So he went from one job to the next to the next. He wasn't mm -hmm. a present dad. He wasn't necessarily a great dad. Mm. Um, now he he is dad. He does everything. He makes yeah. her lunches. He takes her to school. He does mm. her hair. He picks her up. He takes her to dance. Um, it's given him that opportunity, I guess, that he totally missed to, to be dad, mm. um, which is, it's really beautiful to watch. Um, probably hard for his yeah. children, yeah. Um, but it is it is really nice to see him in that role. Mm. But at least he's learnt from that. You well, know? it's really like what they're doing they're is they're kind of like grandparents. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they have that time, and you're right. Like they have learnt, I guess, of what they don't want to be, what they were for the first time or, around, or have the ability. I mean, he yeah. might not have been able. He had to work to put his family yeah. you know, roof well, over their head. There has been a lot of positives. That lady yeah. listening, let Dad chuck a leg over. Thumbs up wow. from everybody. <laughs>